everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics, the channel here. We talk about art, we talk about comic books, illustration, all that kind of stuff. And today we're going to do a little like little drawing thing. Uh, I thought, you know, I've been doing a lot of like automatic drawing, things like that. But I thought, why don't I start doing some other types of little tutorials or what have you. And I thought, why don't I do something with figurative work? And I thought, what about a little picture? So I grabbed this image from a magazine. Do not know who this model is, so apologies for not knowing the model. Actually, yeah, it doesn't say. Um, but what we're going to do is just talk about how to draw something. And this could wind up blowing up in my face. So there's a potential that this won't work at all. But you know what? We experiment here. Now, if you want to see my work, let me do, give you a quick little pitch. Go to andresalazarart.com, and there you can see all my paintings and everything like that that's happening. I have an open gal. I have a solo show, art show, uh, May the 3rd in Ventura, California, so I'd love to have you come check that out. All the work that's going to be there is on the website, too, so you can kind of like on my my online viewing room you can see uh, the artwork that'll be there at the show uh, I also have a patron which has my comics things like that so take a look at those items now on with this show so what we're gonna do is we're gonna like draw her to some degree and the way you draw people and it's the way you draw anything I got this little bin here it bugs me is you break things up into shapes. That's one way to do it. There's a lot of different ways, right? We could do a contour line drawing. Um, you know, we could do a contour line drawing where we just go here, like uh, you pretend you're an ant, right? And you just kind of like follow the figure and you follow everything and then you, you know, and these are actually, I like these drawings a lot. Right, and I'm just following the figure, and you're not worrying about proportion. You're not. You're just like following the lines, right? And something like that. Right? You could do that. Okay, that that's totally acceptable. But today we're gonna do um, we're gonna break things up into shapes because I feel like when you're trying to render something and make it look somewhat accurate, that's really the way you do it. That's there's. I'm giving you the million dollar hint the million dollar hint is break it up into smaller shapes okay so in this case we're going to break this girl up into shapes so uh we'll just start breaking things up so i'm going to first draw this head and i'm going to just go like this i'm just going to like see that line i look at angles right so it's all about shapes and angles so I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna go like this, and I'm just drawing, and I, we're gonna refine this, okay? We're gonna refine this, but I'm just drawing these shapes. And I'm looking at these certain little things that I can kinda like break up. Now, I've already made a mistake, I can see, because that angle's a little bit like that, so it's okay, right there, and this here, and there, okay? And don't worry about too much about fixing it right now. We're just kind of playing with it. Okay. Okay. So that's a shape. Okay. Now let's do this little like clavicle area. That's a shape right there. Boom. Okay. That's that. Okay. We'll do her sternocleidomastoid right there. Okay. That's a shape. Boom. Boom. Now, bikini, we're gonna measure down a little bit, just eyeballing it, going, okay, that's probably there. We're just gonna put a square, right? Boom. Bikini, boom. Another bikini, what's the distance? Eh, probably about that. So we'll go boom, okay? Now, these aren't really perfect triangles, right? There's some movement there, but that's okay. We don't really, right now, I don't even care about that. I just want to get these shapes in. This is our deltoid. We'll go like that. Okay. So you just start breaking things down. 
And if the shapes are off, that's okay. We're gonna like look at it and we're gonna fix it. That's a wrist, right? You see these little like spots here and this, we're just gonna draw this out. I'm not the best at this at all, but I do like to share little things I do know. And uh, hopefully some of this is somewhat helpful. Okay, so. So we, I can already see see the space here that's off, right? So we do need it. We do need to change it. So we'll make some changes. Don't worry. And then here, this is another one. We'll go here, and we're gonna go here. We'll go wonk, wonk. Here, oh, there, okay. Here, okay. Now, what other shapes? Now we have her waist here. You kind of can see a little bit of like, well, I just know anatomy wise, she's got a rib cage. <laughs> so I know, and see that curve there? I'm just, and then maybe I'll accentuate a little bit just, to, just for fun, right? Put a little belly button there. Now what's this shape? Okay, now this is a this is a beautiful curve here. I just you know that's just like really a cool line, and we'll just kind of like like that. I mean, there's certain places you're gonna your eyes gonna go to. Okay, and then this is kind of like a trapezoid. So maybe I'll go like that, and then I'll make a little knee here. Okay. And is this, and then go here. Okay, do I have an eraser? Oh, I probably need one of those at some point here. Okay. Okay. And then let's do the leg. Now notice the 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 proportions are off because of the way the camera is set up on this photo. Her legs are not that damn long. Her legs aren't, aren't like five times her everything else. So it's a little off, but that's okay. We're gonna, you know, it's a little warped. There's a curve here, so we try to make this into a nice little shape. Okay, and I'll just block that off, and we'll put a knee, we'll put an ankle, right? And we'll, this is a little instep, boom, okay. 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 Now her now this leg here, and you got a little bit of her underwear or bottoms, whatever you want to call these things. And then got that little piece. And then boom. Okay. Boom. Again, I feel like I actually doing these on video are hard because I'm like talking and I'm much better when I'm not talking. Um, so these are never as good as the ones at home, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, now. Now, now we're gonna, so we have like basic shapes, right? I mean, if you, if you look at them holistically, and you're like, oh yeah, I see some, I see a bunch of errors, right? I see a lot of changes that I need to make. But two more, two things. One, you don't have to be a slave to this, okay? No one says it's gotta look just like the photo because no one's gonna have the photo on hand. So there's one, you don't need the photo. So don't be, a slave to your reference. Maybe it looks even cooler the way it is, right? Two, um, if there's something that looks totally funky, fix it. So here, for instance, this hand, this hand, I'm actually okay with that, even though it's totally off from like the distance here. I th I actually kind of like this hand, and I kind of like the way this looks, and it doesn't look super goofy. So I don't even really want to change this. So I'm like, it's done. But the face does need work because if you see her face is not that long. It's not that long at all. So we're gonna have to make some changes there. Uh, but that's what, so we'll just make some changes. 
And part of it is the size. The, the head size is too big. Okay, so we'll just do that. And then what I'm doing now is I'm looking at this shape here. I'm like, okay, I gotta make that shape. Well, to do that shape, I gotta go here, right? And it's it, this is the shape more than anything. So that's the shape of that, okay? Which then means, okay, then what's this shape here? Well, then that must mean this shape is probably about here, right? And this is kind of this nice round, this beautiful roundness here. We just go boom, right? Boom. Okay. And so, okay. So it's about just refining. It's about finding your shapes and then refining. And I'm using this big old gnarly 4B. You probably should use something smaller, more refining, but I'm just doing this just for fun. Now, now I'm gonna do sunglasses. Now, what are these shapes? Well, they're these kind of like aviator kind of style. So, you know, it's probably decent. And then she's got some eyes in here. That's a little too early to deal with that. Nose, and she's got some lips. Okay. Yeah, it's we've got issues. We've got issues here, but that's okay. You're like watching this like, what? This guy doesn't know what the freak he's doing. Well, you know what? I do. I really do. Yeah. So we still have some issues, but for now, that's okay. And sometimes you just like miss it. And in that case, you redo it, right? And so I'm probably, I'm gonna redo it in a second, but, and I don't wanna make this video go too long because really what I'm just trying to show you guys is just like break things down into shapes. I don't need to like really render her, although you guys will feel gypped if I don't. And this is, you know, we can curve this out a little bit. Now I'm just kind of like refining it slightly more. And this this part of refining really all depends on the style and level of work you want to do. Meaning, do you want to keep it kind of gestural and kind of like cartoon? Or do you want to put a lot of detail in it? And it's really up to you to decide how far you want to go. Sometimes making it loose is better. And so you don't need to like, you know, fix it. Sometimes it's not. I need to, I need to sharpen this damn pencil. This is annoying me. <laughs> so give me a second, let me sharpen this bad boy here. Because um, part of it is I'm trying to do something really small and I got this big, big honking lead that's not, not going to help here. Okay. 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 We're back. Um, So yeah, this looks kind of fun. This is cool. I'm down with this here. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Um, and I have no problem with this. Maybe we'll do that. Little curves there, you know, because they're not they're not really triangles. I mean, they are, but. And I'm actually fine with her waist. And this hip though needs to come out a little bit. So see that? That's kind of fine. Uh, 
Now, if I had some ink, I would ink this bad boy and just kind of clean it up a bit. Let's bring that in a bit. Okay, we're getting there. So get a piece, of, get a magazine or photo on the internet and just like start, it doesn't have to be a person, of course. It could be a car, it could be whatever. And just start breaking things down into shapes because that's what, that's what it's all about. And her face is so fugly, we're gonna just do her over. We're just gonna like, you know what? Let's see if I can pull it off. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Okay. Let's start with this hair. Women are hard to draw. There is a just innate beauty element that your woman has to have. And if she doesn't have it, you know right away if it's gonna work or not. It just, you know what I mean? She's just like, she's cute or not. She's just like, boom. Okay. Okay, that's a little better, but it's still off. There. Okay, that's better, but it's still off. But anyway, that you get you guys get the you get the drift? You get the drift of what we're doing here? And so you could even put some definition if you want to like change it up a bit. Okay, there you go. The idea, shapes, okay? And then, you know, like for instance, you know, you could go here in the toes and really like, again, really break down these these little toes, right? And like, but it's just about like finding, finding the shapes in, in these, in these objects, right? Okay. Maybe we'll do another one too of contour and just kind of show you like how to do the contour. That's another idea. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. Check out all my jazz. Matane.